guys, welcome back to my channel. Hey, we have a war season result. It ended, and I have a very good deck for you guys. So, first, let's open this chest. We got some gold, raw recruits, me and horde, wall breakers, firecrackers, goblin, battle healer, mirror, and come on, give us something good, please. Hey, we got Inferno Dragon. Okay, that's not too bad. I like it. Okay, so the deck I'm gonna play is gonna be this Royal Giant, Bomb Tower, Bazooka Girl deck. So, it is 3.1 Elixir, I'm gonna play it on ladder. And uh, yeah, I've, I saw some people uh, went pretty high up on ladder with this deck for 1000 spots up. So yeah, I was deciding I'm gonna take this deck. I don't know who made it, this one, but hey, eh, I did like this one with Earthquake. So, let's hop into a battle. Okay. We're against Vuna. Hey Vuna, what's up my dude? What's up? How is it? He is running one of my favorite skins in the game. Okay, so he's running it very interestingly. First play, let's go. The season just reset it, so all of us are lower in trophies than we should usually be. Take that into consideration, guys. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. We're gonna play this, we're gonna play trying to play Bazooka Girl on this Inferno Dragon to destroy the Inferno Drag. And then we're gonna lock these boys down. Then we can play... We don't want to death damage at this point, but... We're gonna try to do this. Looks pretty solid. I like it. I like it! Okay. This deck is kind of very good on defense, guys. Because you have a bomb tower, ice wizard. And if your opponent does have a building, well, oh crap, well this opponent has a piggies too, how the mix feels about that, he has piggies as well, that's crazy, look at her splash, okay the bomb tower is gonna be very useful against piggies, because bomb tower is very good against piggies, and the thing is with this deck you can always tornado things to the bomb tower bomb. So that should be the, the thing in this, this particular deck. Uh, with the new update, my game are dropping slower as usual. I don't know. It's kind of a thing. Every single season, the, the units are dropping a little bit later than they should be. Do you guys experience these issues? This guy has been double baby dragon. Double baby dragon trouble! Okay, with a piglet, so... It is a... Uh, we gotta try... To push everything back. Don't do it. Okay, now we gotta attack him because it was pretty aggressive. And now he doesn't have elixir anymore because he spent 8. He needs 2 elixir to defend this freaking push. And he is not gonna able to do so. He managed to get the elixir for the... For the Dark Prince. We see you. I don't like what we see, but hey, oh my god, he has a rocket too. Okay, we're gonna try to cycle as much as we can. Double, and then tornado everything back. We can go and try to a little bit distract. And then we can play bomb tower here. Bazooka's girls do have range. Look at that, they changed the, completely the lane, which is amazing. And now we can just pull the royal down in the middle, apply even more pressure, and win this game! Okay, next game! There is so much thing happening now in the world that I think the best thing is to play mobile games. Guys, that's the best thing. The best thing! Okay, let's see. Are we gonna wait that he's making some first moves, maybe? I don't want to play the Royal Jump, he has Pekka, this whole push is dead, so it's better not to rush it. But also don't like to wait too much, because, yeah, it's kind of difficult situation to wait, just waiting. Maybe he has another Golem Vita. They're looking uh, pretty much very popular at, at this night, at, like... She's a little bit slower, but I think she's very good kind of even balanced in some points because she's activating the king's towers i do like the mechanic of the new game new new card 
And kind of like this deck, honestly. Okay, so he's gonna go another another one with... Um, this bomb tower is gonna destroy this, so we're gonna try to uh, kite this thing. Then we can play Bazooka Girl here. What is the... Uh, this is almost the same deck like the last one? Looks like it. It's just this guy has archers. We are facing some crazy decks because it's the early season. I don't know. Crazy shenanigans right there, guys. He does have a mini P.E.K.K.A. And uh, yeah, yesterday they uh, put the new balance changes in the game. We're gonna apply a little bit of pressure. We're just gonna let this Royal Giant die to the mini P.E.K.K.A. And then I'm just gonna put skeletons down to uh, distract the mini P.E.K.K.A. We got the hit. And with this deck you can cycle to another Royal Giant. Which is gonna be uh, very, very good. We can Earthquake, just something, something. Prepare ourselves. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's tornado this backwards. Even we can use this barrel. This guy doesn't have a rocket, which is very, very good for us. Okay, we can play our this thing. We can go with a bazooka girl. Because he's gonna go all in. We can tornado this backwards. Nice! Man, she has range. We can just cycle to double earthquakes and win the game. So exactly this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna cycle. He's gonna fireball this. We're just earthquaking that part. And that should be game! This is an easy uh, golem uh, beatdown deck. Any beatdown deck should be an easier matchup for this one. Okay, into the next one. Let's get it. I do like this deck. I think it's really uh interesting one. I was always like when I saw the 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 firecracker girl, I was thinking that the best thing maybe is gonna be that she's gonna be with the royal junk, and then I went to the leaderboards and check it out that somebody plays it on Lara. And then I found this one. I think it's trainer deep which is playing this this deck, I'm not sure. Sometimes they are like hi hiding the decks, you know what I mean guys? So you never know if this is the real deal or not. But it looks like a real 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 deal deck. Okay, we're gonna play the Barbarian Barrel. Look at that! The synergy with the with the with the bazooka girl and wild giant is one of the best ones, I think. We're gonna see in which kind of deck archetypes she's gonna merge. I see uh, balloons as well, and this is the damage. Perfect. Okay, Nishant. We're gonna just cycle now another skeletons in the back. We can go and try to activate the king's tower. Nice. Okay. I was thinking she's she's a little bit slower, so she cannot uh, destroy those bats. That was my mistake. Um, better with... Better with... Okay, we're gonna go Royal Giant on this. Pretty easy. And then we can lock those guys down. Nice and easy. She's gonna switch the lanes. I can have... I just pull this down. Play this. Three skeletons can uh, pretty good um, counter her. 1,491? That's very good. I like this. I really like this. You lush. 1,491. Okay. You guys ready? I switch it in the back. You're approaching double elixir. So we can be much more aggressive with our royal giants. Especially with uh, this kind of deck. We do have everything for this guy's deck. Maybe he's not realizing it yet. Well, we do have it. Okay. Now it's a little bit dangerous. But we have another one. And then Earthquake. And this should be Royal Giant. A little bit of hits. It should be. 
Let's see if we defend this. Looks like we can. We can play another Royal Giant there and uh, go just with Earthquake. Like this. Currently second Earthquakes. Royal Giant is gonna get the hit 100%. That should be game! I think it's very good against Mortar decks and Expo decks as well. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about this deck. <laughs> Another battle, let's go against this guy. Against this one, Lovecraft. You gotta love his clan name. Lovecraft. Lovecraft. Sounds good, huh? <laughs> I love to joke around, guys. I do like to joke around. I'm a very impatient person in uh, real life, but I do. I, I just love to uh, joke around, though. <laughs> Oh no, he went with all what he has there. No, she wants to dash. Why would you do that? Damn it, that was a little bit too aggressive in my opinion. So I'm gonna go with Royal Giant, otherwise I would not do it. He went like Night Witch, Bats. Oh, okay. I'm gonna try to activate the King's Tower if we can. Mm, let's uh, see what we can do here. We're gonna play this. Then we're gonna play that. Then we're gonna play this. Man, this guy, no filter. Yeah, I need to. Uh, I'm gonna lose this down if I, if I don't do anything. No, you're kidding me. We lost the tower. Okay. That mega dude. Damn. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. It's not over yet. We can come back from it. We can definitely come back from this. This. This thing what happened right there. Okay, let's try another one with this. We're gonna get like maybe three. No, we got two. Well, that's fine. We can try to defend this as less as possible. I was just thinking what to do to defend this push. Let's go bomb tower. He's gonna play bats. Gonna play the bazooka. It's kinda okay if he jumps. I'm gonna ignore it. I need some damage. Nice. Okay, it's not over yet, guys. It's not over yet. We do need to be very careful. What we gonna do. The attacking is real. I hope we can handle it. Oh, she even dashed. That was a little bit too much, my dude. Don't you think? Okay, let's try it. Let's try to do this. We're gonna get some damage. It does have like... It's a little bit problematic to hold this lines like that. Mm. Yeah, he's very aggressive. He does have very cheap cards, so he's gonna win this. GG, well played. And another one. Into another one against Elias. Hog and roll. Hog and roll, what's up? Let's see, let's, uh, good luck, thank you. Thank you. Let's see what he does roll. It was a very interesting Meganite deck, don't you guys think? With a Bandit and Night Witch? Mm, what do you guys think? Night Witch, Lava, Elixir Golem. Those cards got the nerf, or like, are they still viable in the meta? Or not really? Let's go with the first Royal Giant. 
So he does have a bulk. We're gonna play our bomb tower a little bit higher up. We're gonna need a. We want this bomb tower to stay alive as much as possible. So he's running a hog deck. This deck does have a matchup against Hog decks because you have a bomb tower and you can activate the king's towers with tornadoes. But we're gonna see what's gonna happen. I need to have my log ready for his game. Um, but he does have a bulk, so also I think that it should be taken into consideration. Mrs. Valk is there. gonna play bomb power here to try to distract these things yeah we're gonna activate the king's tower that should be good here and then we have the barrel so keeping the barrel for the game tornadoing the this and then we just if we have scaly so we should definitely change the lines here he's not happy fella ice wizards are fighting here we're gonna go another. You do this, and then we do that, and that should be good. We can play Earthquake. Bomb Tower. Tornado. Just in case. We're gonna play our Ice Wizard on this side this time. So he's not deciding to go with a... Uh... We're gonna try to play late slow, play Rajan in the back, make a big push. Big, big monster push incoming. We're gonna play this here. Then we're gonna play Bazooka Girl. Then we can play higher Infernos. Hmm. We're gonna be more aggressive here, I think. Otherwise, we lose. Okay, this looks solid. Slow things down and go and push another royal giant. We're gonna at this point uh, try to um, earthquake him. Playing bazooka girls. He cannot reach us. I can just earthquake and win the game like that. Let's try to do so. Let's just tornado this backwards. Another bomb tower. Oops. Oops, Fix, what you doing? No! Mini Pekka. Mistakes are made! But it's okay, it's a win-win. I was just thinking to earthquake cycle him. So if you cannot win, earthquake cycle should be a work. Okay, we are in the last match for today. We did that uh, nicely, went up on ladder. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Slightly. Okay. We're gonna wait that he's making some moves. Uh, he's gonna go with this. Are we gonna go with Royal Giant? Since I have her in hand. She's not dying to uh, logs, which is very good. She's dying to arrows. I think that a lot of people are gonna run arrows. Look at this. We did activate the King's Tower, but I think we're gonna be fine even with that activation. We can do this. We can play him here. And that should be good. We activated him, his, and he activates mine, which is fine. Equal. In this part, you kind of equal. But I guess when you take this card, you take a risk. 
as well with it. So, do you want to take a risk? I guess that's up to you guys. This guy does play um, a lock bait deck. With the Valk. Gonna play Bazooka Girl here. It's gonna help me to, to, to get rid of some of those guys. Then we're gonna Earthquake again. If she hits once and then like Earthquake is finishing it up and then you have completely healthy Royal Giant here on the... on the tower. Which is very good. So I think lockbait should not be an issue. It should definitely not be a big, big master issue. I'm gonna let this be. We're gonna play a royal giant in the back. I'm gonna play here, higher up this. Oh, we did get some damage. Now he's putting those, those, well that can be a little bit dangerous. We can out cycle I guess. And he's gonna use a rocket. I think we should be fine here. We just need one hit. Just prepare here and that should be game! Well, he just put this bomb tower because of the princesses on the bridges, but hey, this deck I think it's very good against lockbait decks. It does have everything to deal with it and against the beatdown decks. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, I hope you like this kind of series. And yeah, give me a like if you like what you see. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell as well to be notified every single time when I upload. Love you all so much. See you guys in my next video, bye!